going on youtubers Abdur Sam here from AndroidTechBlackspot.com right now I will be showing you how to flash official Cyanogen Mod 10 on your Galaxy S3 for AT&T keep in mind this will work for T-Mobile Sprint and Verizon or International or any other phone as long as you are using Clockwork More Recovery and I'm talking about the method not the files this method will work this is how you flash the ROM first of all you will need to boot into clockwork my recovery you can do this by a couple different ways the simplest way is if you have custom ROM just press power button and you will have a extended power menu if it supports that if you have rooted phone then you can go ahead and download quick boot and from there you can press recovery and you can get here unless and if you have S3 then you can power off the phone once it's powered off press volume up power and home button at the same time what first vibrate let go of the power button second vibrate you will see the screen let go of the other two buttons and you will be right here once you are in clockwork more recovery you are going to go ahead and press backup and restore and backup to internal SD card this is because if something goes wrong then you can go ahead and restore your backup and you are set so if you mess up a step you can still go ahead and get your setup back by restoring the backup now we are going to go ahead and wipe data factory reset Oops. you are going to do this three times and here is the process so again wipe data factory reset three times then wipe cache partition Once that is done, go ahead and go to install zip from SD card. Find the zip file that you have downloaded. So this is gonna be nightly Cyanogen Mar 10. This is your internal, that's your external. I'm gonna go ahead and choose from external because that's where I have it. I'm gonna scroll down to my i747 folder. And there you go, that's today's or yesterday's nightly and scroll and just press yes and it will start flashing those that's just a process bar is just showing there the process and here you will you can read what it's doing so right now it's funny uh, it already found the update package opening update package and installing the update Sanajima 10 is based on Jelly Bean and it's the most hyped custom ROM ever. Now we are going to go ahead and install Jelly Bean Google Apps. Now go ahead and press back button and press reboot system. There you go. That's the new Sana Jumar boot animation. It's really cool such a nice graphics and you can see 
the backlight has been up that means your phone should be powering up keep in mind this might take longer because you're setting up new system you might be going from ICS to Jelly Bean or Jelly Bean AOKP to Sayon Ajan Mar so you're flashing the whole new system that's why it will take time and once you finish flashing you are going to be right here and you can go ahead and press start yes I'm gonna go ahead and install my email address I don't want you to see it that's why I took it out so it says signing in and you can set up credit card for Google Wallet if you want I'm not gonna press that now next next and finish okay first of all what you need to do is go ahead and get your Wi-Fi set up because otherwise if you are on unlimited or limited data plan your data is gonna be used which will get you limited access afterwards so once that done this is the stat you can disable that because you don't wanna let it use data I will enable if they have only Wi-Fi but I don't think they do have that so now we're going to go ahead and setting and about phone and here you can check it out that I did flash Cyanogenmar 10 and this is it this is how you flash Cyanogenmar 10 on your Galaxy S3 go ahead and go check out androidtechblackspot.com and app drawer 7 go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next video